Hi everybody, it's Ryan from Ryviews.com, and today I'm leading you on a tour of the reef from the new House of Old expansion in Destiny. This released today, and I hopped into the reef to take a look at what it has to offer, and I thought I'd show you guys a little bit about what's there. So first, when you go there, you go to the Vesting Outpost, and you get to watch a little video. I don't think you can select anything else there right now. Destiny, House of Wolves. Dun 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 dun! Or something. So once you land in the reef, you notice it's very purple and blue. Uh, it's kind of dark. But the other thing you notice is that lots of the, the normal guys are here. So you look to your right, there's a message guy. Uh, well, message droid, I guess is the proper terminology. Uh, you can see him right here. Very much like the other guy, except he's painted with uh, the reef colors. So, there's also the bounty tracker on the right, like normal. He has the normal bounties. Uh, nothing strange about that, he's even next to the same screen, looks pretty much the same. Uh, once again, uh, same guy, new location, kind of exotic, but very much the same, so that makes it kind of convenient. So, but you're led to this little achievement here, not achievement, what am I saying, mission, that's the word. Vocabulary in English. So, she has a quest for you, which is to get acquainted with the allies in the reef. Which is kind of exciting, it's a little quest to lead you around and basically do what I'm doing right now and give you a tour. So, it's definitely a useful thing, as long as you're not full of bounties like I was. Not playing Crucible anytime soon. So, getting rid of those. Alright. So, except this quest and you're about to wander around. We all want the same. So, these are all the same as what you got before as far as hunting random enemies. Um, and then the, these are these are new. These were not available last week. Um, no, I haven't done these yet, so I don't know much about them. But they're still all the same kind of... Description where you're trying to hunt some big bad guy. Uh, it's pretty interesting, but uh, they're all pretty much the same. Uh, and I'll, I'll be trying to go through and help you find some of those areas next time and talk to you about strategy, about killing some of those guys. But for right now, touring the reef. So she has some awesome little shaders. Um, similar to the locale, it's all very red and purple. Um, awesome new ship, too, you'll notice. Uh, it's an awesome ship, it's gigantic. I really want it, so I'm going to try to get that as soon as I can. Back to the star. The hunter ah. So, talk to this guy. He's new. He's a new little faction. A little prize for going to the reef. And it's the House of Judgment. So you're trying to get House of Judgment reputation. And you can buy this new... Awesome armor, that's our little 42, once you get to the highest, higher enough rank. Also some nice little marks, and some new ships, and shaders. So I'm pretty excited about this. Uh, this will be pretty cool to get. Uh, you also need this token of identity, so some new legendary items that I don't really know how to collect. So, we'll find that out in the future, I suppose. Over here is the new Cryptarch. Once again, same as the other guys, like the Bounty Tracker and the... Uh, the message person, where it's the same crypt arc, nothing unique, just you know, can use it at both locations. There's a random door here, it seems to lead to nowhere, so I'm not really sure what to do about that right now, but there might be a certain event type thing over there, I don't know. Um, you know, the, the area with the Iron Banner is usually closed off when it's not Iron Banner time, so I'm guessing that'll be closed up, uh, opened up at some point. Uh, so this is the trial, Trials of Osiris guy, where you can buy things for winning a certain number of trials, as well as buy more passages, and buy some little boons, which is a funny word, but uh, I'm not sure I'm going to play much of this, because you have to have two friends, it doesn't match make, um, and I, I'm not very good at this game, so I'm not really think I'd be able to get very far in it, but I'll probably give it a try at some point, uh, scrounge together some random friends, uh, just to try it out, but I'm not really that excited, because like I said, I'm not really that good. Uh, but Sounds like it's interesting. I don't know. Uh, I like the number of random staircases here. Um, it's a nice little locale. Um, it's very interesting. It's very drawn out and kind of, you know, meek. Um, it looks like it could be part of a level. You know, there's, lo there's lots of random fallen tech, like that door and all the little barrels around look like it's fallen equipment. So that's kind of nice. Uh, but in general, it's all, you know, kind of just very ambiance -y. You know, there's not a whole lot of new content here. Uh, but there wasn't really much content in the tower either. 
Um, you have one faction instead of three, but they're not like they're getting rid of the previous factions, so it's not really that surprising. There is a vault over here as well, uh, with you know once again the same vault things. And you return to finish your quest, and then you can move on to doing quests out in the real world. So this is what the ships look like, by the way. Um, if you buy that one, you'll get blue. Those are all purple and yellow, but uh, looks like an awesome ship. I really want it, as I mentioned before. And I'm well on my way to getting rank one. So, quest rewards, legendary weapon and an emblem reward. So, needless to say, you probably need to be level 20 to enjoy most of this stuff. Uh, but, honestly, it doesn't take that long if you're dedicated anyway. And most of the people watching this and playing this are probably also already at level 20 anyway. So, that's The Reef, everybody. Thanks for watching. Visit www.riveviews.com for more content. And don't forget to subscribe. Until next time.